I recently compared the three big AI assistants, ChatGPT, Microsoft Copilot, and Google Gemini. In my test, the Microsoft Copilot turned out to be the better AI assistant overall. But since then, there have been other newer AI models, and one of the most significant ones is the Meta AI. This is an AI model similar to ChatGPT from Meta, the Facebook company. How good is it compared to the Microsoft Copilot? Can it replace Microsoft Copilot or ChatGPT? Let's put them to test side by side in this video. I'll ask a series of same questions to both the AI models and see which one is a better AI for my use case. It's gonna be a very interesting video, so let's get started. So I've prepared a series of questions to ask both the AI models. But first, let's check out their web interface. These are the websites to launch Meta AI and Copilot. Meta AI is on the left and Copilot is on the right. Both their interfaces look very similar, clean and intuitive. Copilot though has an option to choose the conversation style from create, balanced or precise. Meta AI doesn't have any options. Copilot also has a bunch of settings you can tweak. One specific setting I love in Copilot is the option to choose the language for conversation. Here I've chosen Hindi and I can converse with Copilot completely in Hindi. It also changes the language of the interface, the button text, suggestions, everything. Meta AI doesn't have a specific setting to change the language. It can auto recognize the language, but it responds back in English by default. I can ask the AI to switch to Hindi and I can converse in any language that I like but the interface is still in English and not a complete switch to a custom language. So far, Copilot is taking the lead. How about a mobile app for easy use? Copilot has a mobile app with all these features built in, easy to use and works perfectly. How about Meta AI? Well, since it's a Facebook company, Meta has integrated Meta AI into all its products like WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook Messenger, etc. This is amazing to be honest. If you're using WhatsApp, for example, there is a separate chat for Meta AI where you can converse like talking to another person. You can also use all the AI features right from the apps we already use without requiring to download a new one. Meta has a big plus on its integration. Okay, let's start with a simple question. What is the largest building in the world? I chose this question because it's a little ambiguous. Largest building could be different based on volume, area, height, etc. As you can see, Copilot is fast, really fast. Meta AI took a while, but it's definitely fast too. Meta AI gave a straightforward answer. Copilot, on the other hand, gave me the answer based on multiple factors. Copilot has also highlighted the more important information. So this is a win for Copilot. One thing to keep in mind, you might get different results each time you ask the same question, but Copilot has given me a more consistent answer more often than Meta AI. Let's ask another general knowledge question. What are the seven wonders of the world? Copilot is fast again, but more importantly, Copilot is a lot more descriptive with the answers. Meta AI is very much like ChatGPT. It's very precise and straightforward and to the point. No images, no extra information or anything. Some people might like this, but personally, I like Copilot's answer. It has given me all the details in two different categories, extra information, even with images. Okay, let's see how up-to-date the information is on Meta AI and Copilot. I'll ask about the latest iPad model that Apple released recently and about their cost. Okay, starting to see the benefits of Meta AI here. First off, everything Meta AI gave was accurate answers. It listed all the new models and even their pricing was accurate. It was precise and the only thing I asked for. Copilot, on the other hand, messed this one up. First off, iPad Air 13 inch does not start at 64 GB and is not for $99. It completely missed to mention about the 11 inch iPad Air and 11 inch iPad Pro. It's difficult to go with this information given by Copilot. What an irony here is, Meta AI actually got its results from Bing, while Copilot, which is integrated with Bing, got inaccurate results. One of the many reasons why we need to fact check AI responses. Next, I'm gonna ask both the AI models to summarize a news page from seattletimes.com. Let's see if they can parse recent pages. 
Meta AI, like ChatGPT, straight up said it cannot read web page. Fair enough. Copilot, on the other hand, confidently gave some news. It does not look like proper news summary, but let's fact check the data from its source. The information that Copilot gave was from a web page dated in 1981. I think what Copilot did was just simply search for Seattle Times on web and gave the results from whatever it could find. I think Microsoft needs to fix this. It's okay to tell that it doesn't have the functionality like Meta AI instead of giving incorrect information as a valid result like Copilot. I want to move on to the next category, which I think is the real use case of AI models, getting our tasks done with the help of AI. One of the most common uses of such models is for learning to code and program. Let's see how each of them work. First off, Meta AI is very fast, but both the AI assistants gave the correct answer right away. I'm starting to notice a pattern here. Meta AI is very succinct and precise in its answer while Copilot is a lot more descriptive. Here Meta AI gave only a snippet and the core logic for the code I asked while the Copilot gave the whole program and it'll work perfectly if I just copy paste it. Both of them even gave sample inputs and outputs. Okay, I asked a follow up question to explain the code and again both did a great job. AI is really getting good at coding. Next, let's see if it can help me plan a trip. I'm gonna ask if it can plan a long drive for me with stops in between with specific conditions. Okay, Copilot messed up again. I asked to plan my drive with stops, but Copilot just gave me a list of attractions on the way. I tried again, but same response. I've seen a proper response before for the same question, but it simply shows the unreliability when we need it. Meta AI, on the other hand, did a wonderful job. It broke down my trip to five or six days like I asked for, gave me travel times, gave me attractions on the way, was precise and very usable. I'm gonna give this to Meta AI. I'll also ask a follow-up question to make it a three-day trip. This time, Copilot gave a much better response. So did Meta AI. But wait, both the AI said day one trip from Seattle to Eugene, but both gave different drive timings. So take the results with not a grain, but a big box of salt. I asked this question in my last comparison with ChatGPT and Gemini. So I'll ask the same to Meta AI as well. I'm gonna ask a car recommendation with lots of space and under $50,000. I'm starting to like Meta AI more and more now. It already gave only big cars, all $150,000. Exactly what I wanted. But Copilot is giving me mixed results. It specifically included a small car. Is this an ad or something? I tried to be more precise and I said I wanted SUVs only. Meta AI did an excellent job again by giving me multiple SUV options with their price listed under $50,000. It knew I wanted it to be $50,000. Copilot messed up even more. The Ionic 5 and EV6 are not even SUVs, directly contradicting what I asked for, and it listed not even one proper family SUV which Meta AI listed. Why? In terms of data accuracy and reliability, I'm leaning towards Meta AI now. But there could be one big saving grace for Copilot, which is image generation. In my previous test, Copilot image generation was far superior than even Google Gemini. Let's put that to test with Meta AI. I'm gonna give the same prompt as last time. To generate an image of a cat playing cricket with its friends in a stadium made of ice cream and chocolates during a snowstorm. It's sunset golden hour and the crowd are all farm animals. That's a lot of specific requirements. Let's see what happens. Wow, Meta AI was not just faster, but the images it generated looked wonderful too. There are no weird artifacts. It matched a lot of my criteria, like cats playing cricket, snowstorm, golden hour, farm animals playing, etc. It could even animate my image very nicely. I'm really super impressed. Copilot did an amazing job too, no less. In fact, Meta AI's image looked cartoony, cute but cartoony. Copilot's image looked more realistic. Both are different, but both are good and I'm not able to pick one particular winner here. Let me ask one more image to be generated. Seriously impressive results again. Both did a wonderful job in their own way, but 
Why are all the dog images generated by Copilot has them wearing sunglasses? Copilot's images again more realistic, more natural, while Meta AI's images has a feel of illustration or cartoon. Based on some more image generation tests I did, I'm going to give this back to Copilot. It was able to handle any prompt in a more realistic way with more options to customize and download. Meta AI is not too far behind at all. If you like the look of the Meta AI images, it's absolutely amazing and right up there with Copilot. For comparison, this is what Google Gemini generated for the same prompt for cats. Can you see the difference? Okay, we just tested both Meta AI and Copilot with various different prompts. What's my overall thoughts? Did Meta AI dethrone Copilot as the best AI assistant? Well, in a lot of ways, it did. Meta AI gave almost the same information for many general knowledge stuff with very precise answers. But more importantly, in a lot of the getting tasks done section questions, Copilot's answer were inaccurate and unreliable. Meta AI, on the other hand, was consistently accurate and gave reliable results when asked multiple times. Meta AI's image generation was very close to what Copilot could generate. And more importantly, Meta AI is integrated into a lot of the apps I already use like WhatsApp and Instagram. I use the Meta AI on WhatsApp to quickly generate custom emojis and images while I'm chatting with my friends. The only advantage I could think of for the Copilot is that it has a bunch of ChatGPT plugins like kayak, open table where I can get flight information and dinner table information readily. But it's not a big deal breaker for me. So I'm going to enthrone Meta AI as my favorite new AI assistant over Microsoft Copilot. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Also like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you all in the next one. This is Anjana. Bye bye.